I mean, to talk. Hey, Pac, yo, wake up, everybody. Wake up. Wake up, man. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. I know y'all hate to see my face in the morning sometimes. I know y'all love to see my face in the morning sometimes. But I'm here. I'm here. You know what I'm saying? So today's episode, we're going to be talking about Kendrick Lamar reaching almost a billion streams, but not like us. You know what I'm saying? And I think that this is a milestone moment again. And we're going to talk about this because I think this is very important of why we talk about this is important, that Kendrick has reached this milestone. Um, and I think that I'm going to compare certain things between him and Drake, and we're going to talk about it because this is important to me. But before I get into that, you know I got to get a legendary spill. This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing if you're new here. Let me work for your subscription today. All the beautiful, sexy ladies, single sexy ladies, put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones at? They're over there. Just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, here we go. Links on the screen. Cash at PayPal's in the description. They called me the Hidden Gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 12,000 subscribers. And I'm still growing. Still growing. I'm counting. I lost some. They came back. And I lost some. They came back. Hey, that's how it goes sometimes, you know? Sometimes people get upset, you know, and they get in their feelings and they come back and I get my feelings too sometimes and I'll be wanting to delete a comment, but I'll be like, nah, you know, I ain't gonna do that, you know? So, um, yeah. And let me know where you're from too, man. I really appreciate it. King of the North, you know what it is. So look, let's get into it. We're gonna talk about this. Kendrick Lamar, another milestone. So this comes courtesy of the Ville. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the Ville, man. So we're going to get to it, man. Let's go. What's going on, y'all? Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you'd like to donate to the channel, the cash out to the top right corner of the video. But let's get into it because we got some good news today, actually. Because it appears that Kendrick Lamar, his song, Not Like Us, has now surpassed 900 million streams on Spotify, a hundred milli shy of a billion. For all those that have a lot to say about Kendrick Lamar and him not being successful, I want y'all to understand. Kendrick Lamar has been successful since his first album. He's on his fifth album. He's been successful since his first album. He's on his fifth album. He's all of his albums are, I believe, platinum. I believe he has an eight, eight, or right now it's probably more. He's more, he's probably more in a range of maybe ten times platinum now. So altogether, Kendrick probably in the range of eight, eight, ten times platinum, somewhere around there. If you if you count all of everything up, it's probably a little more than that. You have to understand a rapper who is basically conceptually rapping and doing this at such a high level and he's successful, it's kind of unheard of. It's not many rappers who are conceptually on his level and they're successful at it. It's not many of them. You know what I'm saying? It's really not. But let's keep it going. So it's only a matter of time before it hits a, uh, hits a billion. All the 100 billion people listening to this back to back or all the 900 million people go ahead and listen to the song one more time <laughs> so it could hit a billion it is still changing to become the fastest rap song of all time to reach 1 billion streams did it in less than a year not even a year has passed since the song has been out mind you now i want to say this 6 months this song's been out and let's be clear here matter of fact you know what I'm going to save all that for last. I'm going to save all that for last. I'm just going to say this is a milestone moment. Let's keep it going. It's only been six months. It's only been six months since the song had came out. Not even six months. Well, this song came out in like May. Like, right, like it did come out in May. Or probably six months. But to be to be extra sure, let me just check. So it's been about six months and some change since this song has been out and, and it's already garnered about 900 million streams, bro. 
that is a milestone within itself within itself if it hits a billion streams bro that's a new record for a single bro this song and i'm telling you bro i can't express this enough when we talk about the grammys Now, when we talk about the Grammys, bro, all I'm saying is, is that this man better win every single category that he's in. I mean, I'm okay if he doesn't win at least one, but he got to win every single one at this point. And 900. That's the thing, right? And we're going to talk about the Grammys uh, in a second. Um, but as far as uh, it being the fastest growing single, you got to understand. To get 100 million streams is a lot. Most people don't even get 100 million streams their whole career. Unless they do, at least for one song. If you're talking about combined, yeah. But some people don't even get that their whole career. There's other artists who reached this, who, who, who got this type of thing. But... Not as fast as him. That's what that's what Deville is trying to say. He did this within the span of six months. Usually it would take years for a rapper to get a billion streams. That must mean that this song is in heavy rotation everywhere, all over. And it's still in rotation. People could say they're tired of the song. The song is still in rotation. It's still in rotation. This is literally the greatest diss song of all time. This is number one. Not Like Us is number one. It's over every one of these diss, all the diss songs. It's number one. Gotta give it its, its due. It's running like it's running like it's a it's a regular single song, like it's a single, like, and it's still run, it's still got legs. It's crazy. Million streams, bro. And this is just Spotify alone. We're not even taking into account all the other platforms like Apple Music, Tidal, um, Instagram Reels, all that, all that, all that. We're not even counting that. We're just counting Spotify currently. And this is the thing, bro. Spotify is one of the apps that everybody uses other than Apple Music. I think Spotify kind of is number one in everybody's opinion. Uh, but 900 million, 100 million shy, from a billion streams, bro, that is a crazy impressive stat for any artist. It doesn't matter what the genre is, but the fact that it's a hip hop genre song, it's a hip hop song. Not only that, it's a diss song. And this is an argument that I had with my with my friend when this beef had. And that's the thing. It's a this is a hip hop diss song. And it's it's this song is running so well. I I'm I'm so I, I'm be honest with y'all. I'm impressed. I told my boy, I said, this is going to be Kendrick's biggest song ever. But I'm I'm really impressed how how big it actually got. I thought that it was going to be big and, and, and that was it. But when he for my boy, when my boys first heard it, they said, I don't know about that. I said, bro, I'm telling you, this song right here is going to be the biggest song he ever did. And he was, I don't know. I said, bro, I'm telling you, it's too catchy. It's the, the lyrics are good, and he's he doesn't sound like we gonna be all right. That's this song sounds nothing like humble. This song sounds like something a totally different artist. You know what I'm saying? And the way he did it, the way he came on, you know what I'm saying? The way he came on the beat, you know what I'm saying? It it just it just it just made him look so much better than Drake. It just made him look like, okay, yeah, this is the victory lap song. It just made him look like Drake was nothing. Like Drake was nothing. It's like, bro, you ain't nothing to me. Like, I'm just going to style on you real quick. I'm going to beat you, then style on you. That's what this, it, it, I kind of felt like that was. Started, we were talking about how beef, how songs that are talking about things about like, talking about things like beef don't have replay value. Kendrick Lamar, somehow, some way, Defined the odds, bro. He defied it all. He was able to make a diss song have replay value. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. At the beginning of this beef, my friend was saying, oh, well, you know, beef songs don't really have any type of replay value for the artist or for the listener to enjoy. 
uh, over and over again. This song has been played over and over again and proved my homie wrong, bro. That's all I'm saying. I was trying to tell him, like, nah, bro, this is going to be the hit, bro. This is going to be the song of the summer. And it was. And it's still going. It's still the song of the year. Song of the year. And people got to understand, when this song hit, a lot of people, it hit people. Like, you have to understand. A lot of people understand, like, this is a, this is a Bay Area type, West Coast type song. When this song hit, a lot of it hit people. It blindsided a lot of people. Like it really did. A lot of people don't understand. This song really blindsided people. Like to the point where it was like out of left field. And it's like, and he dropped it the next day after he dropped um, uh, Meet the Grams. The next day. And it's like, yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a bomb on this dude. Like, Oh, you want to play with? We want to play with uh with your song. Okay, yeah. You want to play with your your little um family matters? I got you. Let me sh let me show you. Let me let me just turn it up on you a little bit, just a little bit. And this is what happened. It's it, it's undeniable. You can't say he turned it up on the boy and smoked him. Anybody that say Drake won this battle is out of control. They're out of control, and they need to be stopped immediately. Call the cops. Call the authorities. They need to be stopped immediately. <laughs> and this is the thing that I wanted to bring up. This is the thing that I wanted to bring up. This song better win Song of the Year. As you can see here, Song of the Year nominees. And we talked about this last time. We got Shibuzi, a bar song. Billie Eilish, Birds of a Feather, Lady Gaga and Bruno Mars, Die with a Smile, Taylor Swift, Fortnite, I guess she's been playing for it, I don't know, I'm just kidding, Chappelle Road, Good Luck Babe, Kendrick Lamar, Not Like Us, Sabrina Carpenter, Please, 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 and then Beyonce with Texas Hold'em, This Ain't Texas, but shout out to Beyonce, but she is not winning this category, shout out Shibuzi, he might win upcoming artists, who knows, it might be Dochi. Billie Eilish, shout out Billie Eilish, shout out Lady Gaga, shout out Taylor Swift. You know, they're very, very big competitors when it comes competitors when it comes to this uh, category here because they've all carved the lane in their own right, in their own genre. However, I agree with that. Only person I think should win if Kendrick don't win is Shibuzi. All the rest of these people, they're the, they're the usual suspects. You know what I'm saying? They're the usual suspects. And... I don't know. You, if you look at if you if you look at it, I'll 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 theorize this another time. But I'm just saying, a usual suspect. Let's go. Kendrick Lamar is winning this tenfold, bro. There is no way that this man garnered 900 million streams, close to a billy, a billion, and he's not gonna win Song of the Year. If he doesn't win this, it's rigged. I never really liked the Grammys. Like I'm not. Like, I'm not fond of the Grammys. I mean, which would, which would make sense. I mean, some of the artists don't even show up to the Grammys. I don't even think Eminem at the time when he won back in the day, he even showed up to the Grammys. He was watching it on TV or something. I think, I think, I think a lot of people, when it comes to the Grammys, especially artists, they don't like the fact that people that are unknown win a lot of these awards. And hip hop didn't get respect in the Grammys for a while. But after a while, hip hop has gotten, hip hop has taken over the Grammys. Let's just be clear about that. But let's keep it going. So she like that. But I digress. Let me just go ahead and just tell y'all, bro, that this song better win. If it doesn't win, it's going to be hell to pay. I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> it's going to be a whole bunch of blogs going crazy. But I do believe that he's going to win Song of the Year. There's other categories that he's in, such as record of the year. I don't know what record of the year and song of the year. It really just sounds the same. I believe, I believe record of the year is the lyrics uh, in total, like in, in its totality, what it meant and all that. And I believe song of the year is basically without people recognizing what the lyrics mean. It's just the impact of it. That's what I believe. I believe like they, they, they probably do go off the, the writing portion of the song of the year, which he which he might end up winning uh record of the year. Uh, but he might not win song of the year, but he might win record of the year. You know what I'm saying? Or vice versa. He might win record of because he because people more pay attention. But I can see him winning both because the lyrics and the impact of that song. 
You know what I'm saying? So it's going to be difficult to, to see. But I'm going to tell y'all now, he at least walking away with four of those awards, if not all. But he's at least walking away with four. You know what I'm saying? And I believe if he walks away with four, then he might he might be tied with Jay and, and, and Kanye, but he might surpass them. Now, Kanye and Jay, Kanye and Jay has, I believe, 22 or 21 Grammys. Kendrick has 17. So if he if he gets four, if he gets four, then he's tied, I believe. If he gets five, all of them, then he has the most Grammys in history any as a, any rapper. I mean, honestly, so I hope he wins both. But they might give the record of the year to somebody else. That's why I was saying he might lose one. But record of the year and song of the year is the same shit in my eyes. Maybe you could tell me the difference in the comments. But song of the year. But he might still, to be honest with you, he might still be able to pass them because he's actually nominated seven times. Because I believe Like That is nominated twice. So if he wins four and then he wins Like That, wins twice off of the two awards, then yeah, he's he has the most Grammys. Year record of the year happens to be not like us, so he better be he better win one of the two, if not two, because like what the hell are we doing here if he doesn't win at least one of these, right? But like I said, the only reason why I bring that up is because there's no way that he's gonna lose what he's garnered 900 billion streams on the song in less than a year, bro. Half a year has gone by since the song has been released. Half a year has some change, like six. And that's the thing people be talking to me about Shibuzi when they say, well, Shibuzi sat on the top of the charts for so long. But this song, Not Like Us, gained much more notoriety faster than a bar song. I remember when I reacted to the, I did a reaction to the bar song and um, I didn't get no views on it. It was like three views and, and they he only had he only had a hundred thousand views on the video. And now if you look at the bar song, I believe it's over twenty thousand views on my on my uh on my uh what's the name, my reaction. And then the what's the name and his video is like like <laughs> ten million views or something like that. I'm not sure. But still. Months in like fourteen days. And this song still, still peaking the charts, still going crazy, still going dumb. People making TikToks with it. There's like bar mitzvahs of the song. There's kids in bar mitzvahs dancing to the song, song being played at clubs, song being played at bowling alleys, you know, everything, bro, everything. This song is being played everywhere, bro. I went to the store and they were playing this song on the, in the Dollar Tree, bro. I was like, what the <laughs> hell? Like, this. Hey, yo. <laughs> Yo, that's so coincidental. I was in a Dollar Tree too, and they was obviously it wasn't a Dollar Tree, it was a Dollar General, and they was playing not like us. <laughs> What's this? What is this? <laughs> Dollar Tree and Dollar General. I, th- I think they own by the same person too, or the owns they own by the same chain. Dollar Tree, Dollar General, and Family Dollar. I believe they all own by the same thing. But yeah, they was playing. They must have a playlist. <laughs> Crazy, bro. It's unescapable, bro. It's unescapable. You can't escape this track, bro. And it's been taking over 2024 since the beginning of May, bro. So hopefully he does win. Shout out. A little, little good news to start the day before I start posting everything else. But y'all tell me how y'all feel about this track. Y'all tell me how y'all feel about this about this news, bro. This is pretty- Yeah, so y'all make sure y'all go watch The Ville, man. <clears throat> it's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty good channel. Yeah, man. So here's the thing, right? And I wanted to do this comparison real quick before I get out of here. So look, Drake versus Kendrick when it comes to these things. Accolades versus record sales. And there's, and I know I talked about this before, but I, I, I got to keep hammering it home because a lot of y'all don't understand, right? Not Like Us move so much faster, move so much faster than any Drake song ever, right? So you got to understand. So you got... Uh, you got a uh, uh, Tootsie Slide. Uh, what's the other one? The other three. Uh, God's Plan. <clears throat> um, uh, what's the other one? Uh, One Dance. And there's another one he got. I remember exactly. Oh, oh, and uh, Hotline Bling. Right. Those are his biggest songs. Those four songs are his biggest songs. Drake got some big songs. 
But those four songs are his biggest songs. You know what I'm saying? So you got to understand. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. The thing about Not Like Us surpassing those songs within six months is a big deal because Drake sat on these songs. He's been, these songs, it took these songs at least four to five, three to four to five years to get to where they're at. It literally took Not Like Us six months to pass those songs. Six months. That's how you know that Kendrick Lamar is something special. Because if it take me six months and it took you five years, it's the same thing I say about the albums, about him having 30 million versus 10. Drake has twice as many albums. or I believe Drake has 12 to 13 albums, and Kendrick only has five. Kendrick has about 10 million uh, platinum records, and Drake has about 30, 30, 30 three or 30 million platinum records. So you figure if Kendrick had as just as many albums as Drake, he would be way surpass Drake when it comes to record sales, way surpass him. You guys got to look at the math and do the math. But for the thing is, but the thing is, it can't be, you know what I'm saying? Um, we get upset when it comes to accolades, but when it comes to Drake, everybody has something to say and don't nothing to say when it comes to record sales. And the whole argument that everybody always hitting me with is the fact that Drake has all these number one hits. And I always come back and say, well, if the argument for you is him, the number one hits, my argument for Kendrick is he has more accolades than Drake. You know what? That doesn't matter. How does that not matter? Record sales. To, I remember when people used to say record sales wasn't a big deal. Now, everybody is all on record sales. Now, record sales. Oh, he got the hits. He got, he got all the number ones, bro. He's the hottest. Be like, so all of y'all looking for validation. So everybody wants to worry about who got the most records now, who got the most hits now. That's what it is. It only applies to Drake, though, because if you use it against, with anybody else, people say, oh, that don't matter. I want to literally said that on his page about Jay-Z. I was like, well, Jay-Z got hits. He was like, oh, it don't matter if Jay-Z got hits. That don't even matter. I'm like, and then like in the same breath, he's like, yeah, well, well Drake, Drake got all these hits, bro. You can't deny him. I'm like, wait a minute. You just said the hits don't matter with Jay-Z, but the hits matter with, with Drake? Like, come on. So, it is what it is. But hey, man, thank y'all for being here with me. Appreciate y'all. Y'all have yourself a good, 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 good morning. 12 o'clock show coming up. And you know what it is, man. See y'all. Peace. Bye. Ha, 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 ha.